Hey guys, this is Jim again with um, PCs by Design. I want to thank you again for watching another PCs by Design production. And today I'm going to be um, in showing you how to crossfire two ATI Radeon 3870 HD video cards. And with this upgrade, I'm going to be making several upgrades to my system in order to get the maximum benefit out of the Crossfire ATI Radeon video cards. And the main reason I'm doing this is to and see what kind of improvements I get in my overall gaming experience. So I'll be taking a step-by-step -step through this. Hopefully I'll um, touch a little bit of everything that needs to be addressed within doing this particular upgrade. This is my um, current system configuration and what I'm going to be doing is I currently have the um, Sound Titanium X5 card with the front panel. I'm going to be removing that because I'll be needing that space as well as the PCI slot where that particular card goes. So I'll show you the inside of the case and the way it looks currently. My um, current configuration I have the 3870, the Sapphire card, which I have modified with the Thermaltake dual orb fans. So I'm going to be taking that out and putting in two ATI Radeons 3870s in a crossfire configuration. So this is the Sapphire um, 3870 that I currently have in that I had modded with the Thermaltake dual orb fans. So I will be taking that out and replacing that with the Vision Tech 3870 HDs, two of them, the overclocked edition, and I'll be putting those into a crossfire configuration. And additionally, I'm going to be adding a dedicated power supply just to increase the power within my system, as well as a intake fan. And also, I'm going to be adding the Sound Blaster X5 Creative, I'm sorry, the Creative X5 Sound Blaster um, Fatality Edition. And the primary reason I'm adding that is because I need to install that into a PCI slot because I'm going to be losing one of the slots during this process of the crossfire. So currently I'm going to go ahead and get the case ready, removing the card that is um, currently occupying those slots. And that'll be, I'll be taking out the 3870, the Sapphire. And just removing the mounting screw for that. And you'll want to make sure you disconnect any power molexes that are connected to the card. and the push pan and then I had an additional power molex to power the um, dual orb fan so I had to remove that as well in addition to a thermal um, sensor that's attached to the Lexus case that my current system is set up in so this is the 3870 that I am currently removing and again I'm this has been a great card the only reason I'm taking this out is to do a crossfire of the overclocked um, 3870s so that's the main reason that I'm removing this okay and I'm going to be taking out my current sound card which again is the Sound Blaster X-Fi um, titanium edition and the only reason I'm taking this out again is it is a PCI card and I'm going to be needing that space because I'll need to move my TV tuner card down to that location mainly because I'm going to be losing one of my PCI slots in the current configuration due to the crossfire setup because the two um, 3870s that I'll be putting in or will take up two, ex two expansion slots. And here, again, I'm just removing my current sound card. And it's been a great sound card. Works great. Um, great in gaming. 
and the only reason I'm taking it out is because I will be needing that slot, that PCI slot, to move my TV tuner down to that location, and I'll be replacing that sound card with the, again, the Creative Titanium Fatality Edition. Okay, I'm just going to do a little cleanup kind of prep just to get things ready to put in the new cards. Um, I will be doing some wire management, just some basic wire management afterwards. I'm sure after I've completed the, the upgrade that I'll come back later and redo some wire management just to get everything in location. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take my um, TV tuner card and I'm going to be putting that down in the bottom slot. I'm currently using the um, Vision Tech. 650 HD TV tuner card. This particular system that I'm using is my all-around multimedia system, so I do want to keep my TV tuner. So I'll be moving that down to one of my available PCI slots now. And I've already prepped the case by removing all of the expansion um, bay plates so that I can fit these new upgrades in. This is the 3870 ATI overclocked edition and I'm going to be installing that into the bottom PCI ex Express slot. This is a very large card. It takes it occupies two expansion slots as well as it is very long so you'll need to make sure your case has ample space for um, putting these particular cards in prior to the purchase of them so you may want to get some dimensions and measurements off of them. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in. I've install the dedicated power supply so I can go ahead and get the two six pin um, Molex or six pin power connectors so I'll be plugging those in shortly. With the cards you want to just slip them in the slots it's just a real quick little snap not much pressure not much force. Next I'm going to be installing the new titanium fatality edition um, X5 PCI card PCI Express and um, again I'm using this particular card because I want to see if I get some improvements um, on overall game performance as well as sound quality and I really like this particular case on this system the way that it's closed in real real nice design and putting that into the available PCI Express slot that I'm going to have and that's actually going to be right between the two um, ATI 3870 cards that are going to be crossfired, but it has a real nice fit. Don't have a whole lot of space within the particular case, but it's still a very nice fit, very attractive card, so I'm real pleased with the look and how it looks there. In addition to this, I'm going to be placing my thermal sensor somewhere in the heat sink area with on the second or the top 3870 card. And um, this is a particular feature that this case has, the Lexus. Um, the Nexus 30, let's see, I'm sorry, the Nexus Lexus case that I use, which again I really enjoy. It has the um, thermal sensors right on the front of the case so I can see what my temperature is inside the case as far as the hard drive, uh, the hard drive, the system which I use for my video card, as well as the CPU. So I'm just going to be placing that inside the to make contact with the CPU just to give me a general idea of what the temperature is on the video cards. And um, again, I'll be working with the wire management later, but I'm just kind of getting it in place for this particular moment. So, and we're going to go ahead and put that into its slot. Push that down just a little bit. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and connect the power supply to the video cards, the two cross-fired video cards. So we'll get those plugged in. They are six-pin connectors. And I, again, I'll be working with 
some wire management. 